Well, you make one part and it leads to another. So we made the threaded bushing that is the smaller threads on the inside, larger on the outside. And that will thread on here. And uh, you can see it uh, threads on here. I was going to slot it to tighten it out, tighten it down, but that's not really necessary. It gets plenty tight. However, once that piece threads on, the cap that's normally going to sit on there to protect the threads will no longer fit. So we need to, need to make a new cap, so we'll do that next. And then finally, we will make the tube that will hold the uh, CO2 cartridge. So let's head over and make a cap. I've prepped a bit of stock here and uh, we're going to knurl the outside of it. Uh, my brother-in-law really appreciates knurling, so uh, we're going to knurl it for him because he'll enjoy that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to bore the inside out. I wanted to wait till the knurling was done because there's a lot of pressure squeezing it. This is a pinch style knurler and uh, we want to make sure that uh, we don't crush the device because we got to open this up to about 0.650 before we tap. Then once we tap, um, I'm only going to tap threads in the middle for like maybe one or two threads. That way it'll be really easy to spin on the cap because it doesn't need any strength and just want to be able to get uneasy. The old cap was really cheesily done, but slides on very easily. They just pressed out a little bit of material on the inside that catches a thread towards the end. So it just grabs and uh, you spin it a couple times and you're good to go. So anyways, we're not going to go that route, but we're going to make it uh, quick so you don't have to spend a lot of time trying to thread it on. All right, so... We're uh, about ready to start some knurling here. Got to make sure we have adequate lube. And no, I did not work on making sure that the dimensions of this were perfect uh, to have even number of knurls around. Uh, although that's helpful, I found out that's not absolutely essential. So. When you're knurling brass, the uh, debris that comes off in the lube looks like uh, gold powder. It's just truly amazing. I'll show you when we're all done. All right, I think that'll be good. <clears throat> Let me just clean this guy off, but you can see the uh, the brass and lubricant dripping off this guy. I cleaned up the edge of the knurl with this uh, parting tool that has a rounded end on it. Oops, sorry about that. I don't know if you can see the focus, but uh, anyways, I went in on two spots. That makes it nice and smooth. The knurling gives you a really good grip. And uh, next up, we're gonna drill out the center and bore it. Keto. Starter hole. Now we can uh, open it up with a boring bar. I don't have the right tap size drill. I need to open this hole up by about 150 thousandths. So first pass, uh, we're going to do for go for 100 thousandths. Brass just cuts so wonderfully.
Funny story, that uh, previous size boring 650 was for the other threads. This actually needed to be 22 and a half millimeters. So uh, I went ahead and uh, bored this guy out because the outside threads are 24 by one and a half. So they needed a 22 and a half millimeter uh, tap. Uh, so we're gonna tap this all the way in. And like the last, uh, looks like uh, maybe third of an inch is not going to have full threads and I don't have a bottoming tap but it's okay because we're going to we're going to we're going to relieve t threads in the back and the front and just keep the very middle like around uh, um, about a quarter inch to a half an inch we're going to keep those threads so uh, this is another one of those examples where the tap wrench won't fit here so we're going to use a crescent wrench So I chose the fine thread solution uh, because the material I have, I wanted to keep the wall thick, thick enough uh, for the final wall thickness, especially for the part that's holding the CO2 cartridge. And uh, it was pretty much based on material because you know the coarser threads will uh, have the problem of going deeper. So because they're 60 degree equilateral triangle and whatever the thread spacing is, they're going the same amount on each of the legs. So the wider apart they are, the deeper in they go, just as a standard rule. So we chose the finer pitch threads because we didn't want to eat up too much of the wall material since it's already pretty thin. Um, oh, let's bring you right back. So right now the threads are full and you can see it fits on very nicely, uh, considering we didn't single point this. So now we're going to relieve the front section and we're going to relieve the back section. So we're going to come in the back, come this way, do the front, go in. So we just have a couple threads because all this cap is is decorative. and We just need enough threads to keep it in place, which, you know, one time around would be more than plenty. Heck, the last one had one tiny fraction of a diameter uh, of a circumference. So uh, bring it right back. We're going to walk this guy in manually here. Oops, wrong gear. How about that one? And uh, just want to go in about a quarter of an inch. We'll need to re-chamfer the outside, and then I'm going to come from the, the rear in. All right, so you can see the threads are in. I actually put them in even further, and now you can see it doesn't even engage until we're that far. And then you just need to go around a couple times to tighten it down. So that'll make it convenient uh, while still functional. It's pretty heavy. Um, it makes me a little concerned about using brass in the first place. We're going to try and make the uh, holder out of brass as well. I have my concerns that uh, the brass might uh, be too heavy hanging off the side of the bottle, so we'll have to see. So last step here, we're going to part this guy off and clean up the face. I gotta tell you, brass sure does cut nicely. It is like zero effort. <laughs> okay. Just clean up the face and come right back. Okie doke, there's the completed cap. And we just left the threads in pretty deep. And they taper off because this was not a bottoming tap. So there really are only a, two or three good threads there. So cap is complete. Last step.